Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our online Mass. Today, we are celebrating the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. Our main celebrant this afternoon is Reverend Father Antonius Fermancia, S.J. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating the feast of the ascension of the Lord. We celebrate the promise that we will be one with Father in heaven. We celebrate that Jesus himself is preparing for us a throne, a beautiful place in heaven right beside the Father. Let us appreciate the beauty of this mystery. Let us appreciate the promise of our own salvation right there in heaven, waiting for us, inviting us to prepare ourselves also to go there. Let us open our hearts to the beauty of God's promise of salvation. Lord Jesus, you have given us our share of grace to be signs of your presence throughout the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Jesus Christ, you have entrusted humanity and creation to us to care for. But for living unworthily of the call we have received, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you keep pouring out on us the gifts of your spirit so that we can continue your mission. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In your kindness, Lord, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins and make us good witnesses of your love, hope, and peace, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us recite the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Father through Christ, who preceded us into the glory of heaven. 
God our Father, gladden us with holy joy and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For 40 days, he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now, having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive more power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee? standing here looking into the sky. Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. This is, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For, us, for our responsorial psalm, let our response be, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Please repeat. God, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. joy. A, a blare, blare of trumpets, trumpets for the Lord. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth responds. God, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. Response. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. Response. God, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord.
The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, He ascended on high and took prisoners capture, captive. He gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean, except that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? The one who descended is also the one who ascended, far above all the heavens, that he might feel all things. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature to manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Go, Go and, and teach, teach all people my gospel. gospel. I, I am, am with you always until, until the end, end of, of the world. world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place. While they, going out, preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, as you may have already realized, the attack of COVID-19's pandemic is not only to our bodily health. It also attacks our sense of being one with the community. 
especially with our ecclesiastical community, with the community of our church. Loneliness now can become something which is really unbearable. Before the pandemic, we can try to cope with loneliness by extending the possibility of being with someone else physically. But now, when the pandemic forces us to stay indoors all the more, our physical resources to cope with loneliness became more and more scarce. However, is it true that loneliness is a matter of physical separation? I believe loneliness is more of a spiritual matter rather than physical one. That is why it is better for us to deal with loneliness spiritually. Even when physical sources is reduced, we still have unlimited sources of spiritual life. This is what Jesus' ascension reminds us today. Jesus already descended into the depth of our loneliness during the feast of the going up to heaven. Jesus already came to our place when he was resurrected from the death. During the resurrection, he met us. During the resurrection, he was willing to be with us in our darkness, in our loneliness. And now, the ascension is the moment during which the Lord unified us, unified all of those lonely time of us into the glory of our Father in heaven. This is the connection between resurrection and ascension. The ascension of Jesus to heaven is our spiritual source to never feel alone again. Jesus' ascension into heaven is not his way of saying goodbye to us. On the contrary, Jesus' ascension is his way of saying that he will always be one with us. This became possible because through the ascension, Jesus provides us with a place in our Father's home. Now we can enter into the glory of God the Father because Jesus prepared a way for us to go there. This is the meaning of his ascension, so that we can be one with him in our journey here on earth and eventually in heaven with the Father. But in order to really experience this unity, as Jesus mentioned, we need to follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We need to open our hearts to the movements of the Holy Spirit, guiding us into the right path to God. However, this is more than just a personal journey. Jesus sent his disciples as one body, as one community to walk this earth, telling everyone the way to our loving Father. We can find the movement of the Holy Spirit if we allow ourselves to accept that our ecclesiastical community is the community being sent by Jesus himself. That means that it is the mission which keeps us together as one community. We are baptized into this community being sent by Jesus. This mission from Jesus is greater than the differences we may encounter in the reality of each members of our community. This mission from Jesus 
is the ties which helps us to encounter one another in our community as brothers and sisters on journey. When the world seems to separate us now even more with this pandemic, let us be aware that we are called to respect the vocation from Jesus as the one who sent us together in this mission journey. We may have differences among us, and those differences can become sources of painful loneliness, especially during this pandemic where we are forced to face the reality of our partners in life. May it be husbands, wife, children, co-workers, friends, and so on and so forth. But God presents us with a solution from Jesus, with an option to believe that He will never leave us alone, struggling with all of those differences. He will not make those differences disappear. He will make those differences among us as one community to become tools for his mission, to lead this world into its creator. If we can see this, then we are ready to live a life worthy of his calling. Amen. Let us profess our faith to the one true God who unites us all as one church journeying into the Father. I believe in God. The Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus assured us of the divine assistance of the Holy Spirit in the carrying out of his mission. Confident of his presence among us, we make our prayers for the church and the world. Lord, give us your spirit, that the church the Pope, bishops, clergy, and lay leaders may boldly preach the good news and give witness to the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give us your spirit. That all nations embroiled in conflicts, they may be free from divisions and strive to bring out true peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, give, give us, us your spirit. spirit. That the needy and the abandoned may rediscover hope in Jesus' ascension and find the joy of living through the care of their brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give, give us, us your, your spirit. spirit. That God may feel the needs of those who hunger, suffer, or are sick. 
strengthen them and answer them from the abundance of his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give, give us, us your, your spirit. spirit. For all of us, that God may open our hearts to be compassionate and witness to his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give, give us, us your spirit. spirit. Lord, we offer you our petitions with faith. Help us to become deeply aware of your presence at all times, now and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, our God, we offer this sacrifice now in honor of the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as together they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Tarsisius, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Living now in the glory of the Father in heaven, the Lord Jesus continues to plead for us through him and in his words, together we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace from the depth of our heart. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those who are attending the Mass online are now invited to recite the prayer of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart.